welcome back to my channel and happy Wednesday. I'm starting off a new vlog. Why does it have to get so loud as I'm talking? So yeah, I'm starting off a new vlog. Today is Wednesday. I should have started vlogging yesterday, but I just couldn't do it. I was just so tired, so I didn't do it. Um, but I'm gonna start today and we're gonna get right into it. So today is laundry day and maybe not be interesting to some of you, but it's white day. I wanted to kind of put you guys onto something. Potentially, I'm not sure if it's gonna be good or not, but my little sister and my mom, they sometimes watch Jackie Aina. I don't really watch her, but I do see her face floating around and she's very beautiful, but I just don't, I don't know why I don't watch her. But anyways, they've watched her and she did this like one segment where she talked about how she gets her clothes and her like bed sheets like to stay fresh and white. Because if you know, if you wash white clothes repeatedly, it starts to turn like yellow, not that nice white color that you started with. So she recommended to get this liquid bluing thing. See, I'm about to put you guys on if this is really, really nice. I've never used it. My little sister and my dad brought it from New York to me. I don't know if you can actually buy in Germany but we're gonna try it out today on my white clothes and see if Jackie Aina <laughs> if we're gonna see if Jackie Aina was right in her discovery of using this in your white clothes wash so my washing machine is like the front low not from the top so it says to add a few drops with some cold water and you're supposed to dilute that with the cold water and then add the diluted bluing to the wash water or final rinse water so my machine doesn't have the final rinse water so add it to the wash water so i'm assuming adding wash water oh lord i'm wondering if i'm supposed to add it to the detergent bit what is wash water the wash is in and the last thing I want to leave you with about this bluing liquid is it's non-toxic biodegradable and I think you can pick this up at home depot I think that's where my sister and my mom picked it up not really sure but just google this brand but I would just wait until I come back you know with my results I don't want you to buy anything and it's crazy okay so yesterday I also got in the mail a package and I am just you know in the mood of putting you guys on I haven't tried on the clothes yet, but I don't know. I feel like it's nice to always share where I get some deals and where I get some clothes from websites where not a lot of people know about, but it's still good prices. So I found this girl. She's called Dress by Desiree, I think, um, on Instagram. And I just looked at her pieces. She's not like blown up or anything like that, but her pieces look really, really cute. I don't know her, by the way. I've never met her. This is not sponsored, but her clothes look cute. And I went on her website and she's basically basically doing fashion which is like affordable for the everyday woman that you can find from her website so I actually bought some stuff from her and they were very affordable she is located in France in France in France she is located in France so it did take maybe like a little over a week to get to me I'll just link her website below in my description box just so you guys can check her out I don't know if she ships internationally but I do know for the EU you can shop with her I think that but she was able to ship from France to Germany so I finally got the package and we're gonna unbox it here I'm gonna include like little try on bits for you guys on the side screen I'm not gonna do a full like try on video just for this so I'm just gonna include it in this vlog In the spirit of fall winter, I picked up another sweater. This is like a wrap sweater, I suppose. If you saw my last vlog, you'd know that I kind of basically got a few other wrap sweaters, but this looks super cute. These I'm actually really excited about. They look so good. I was like, wow, if it looks so good on her body, it has to look 
somewhat okay on my body. The only problem is now if it doesn't fit. So I love chocolate, if you guys haven't seen it. I'm a chocolate girl and I love to wear chocolate. So I picked up these chocolate pants and they're really chocolate. And it kind of just goes out in this. It's not a bell bottom, but it is a little bit wider. And supposedly it's supposed to, you know, cinch your waist kind of like that. But this looks really, really cute. The next thing that I picked up is another pair of pants, jeans to be exact. I really hope they fit. I bought some jeans actually from Shopo in this size and they didn't fit me, but this is my normal pant size. So I got this in an EU size 36. Let's see if they stretch. They feel really, okay, this part not so stretchy, but they feel really kind of stretchy at the waist, which is not kind of what I need. I need to stretch by the thighs, but they are so cute. I actually did not know that they were two-toned, but that's cute. And the difference between this jeans is if you notice here, it's not straight. It goes to the side, which I think might silhouette the body a little bit nicer. You can see it there. And they also have just one rip here at the knee, which I think is enough. I've kind of grown out of this, you know, rip rip jean type of look. So one is sufficient. And the last piece I feel like is a blazer dress. I don't remember. Yeah, it's a blazer dress and as well, it's in the color chocolate because I told you my obsession with chocolate. Two buttons, it's very, very long, which I like because if it's supposed to be a blazer dress, you know, it has to be long. So I really like that it comes with a belt, the belt fell, so there is a belt though. And what I like right now, there is some padding right here. So it's kind of like that shoulder padding look, which I quite like. So this, this also looks like a winner. So that was it for the mini haul. I'm gonna go back to work. Maybe I'll make a tea, a coffee. Everyone keeps asking me about my editing or if I have an editor, someone who's like, editing my videos. I edit everything myself. Skillshare really helped me out with that. I'll also leave my Skillshare link below, but I just use YouTube and Skillshare to advance my skills. And I did also make a video about like all the tools that I use. So I'll also link that video or that card somewhere here. So it's a little bit later in the day. As you can see, I am all dressed for the gym. I'm gonna be going to Zumba today and get my little workout going on. But before I go to Zumba, I wanted to show you guys the clothes that was in the washer with the bluing liquid. So it's just been sitting there right now. I'm gonna take it out and see if we see a difference with the clothes and I would know. So I'm not sure if the bluing liquid actually helps with stains, but we're gonna see. There was a shirt in there with stains in it. Aside from that, we're just gonna see if it's any wider than it was before. Okay, this is looking really, really white. You could see his shirt is really white. So I still haven't found the shirt yet that had the huge stain on it. But guys, the clothes indeed is very, very white. So I'm actually really surprised right now. This is the shirt that was stained. Like, I don't know what kind of stain was on here, but there was a huge stain on here. It's completely gone. 
completely gone and as well the clothes are so so white right now hi guys good morning happy thursday i'm on my way now to work i'm actually wearing that new brown blazer which you guys should have seen yesterday in the try on i've paired it as well with the jeans that i bought i really love this blazer i did have to pin it here though because it was just doing a lot and i kind of just you know left it out like this today's a bit chilly so i'm just gonna wear this blazer as a jacket I'm gonna be pairing it with that bag from zara as well as you already know my vegan bag from angela roy i always wear that and i do wear that on top of my um work bag so that pack is my work bag so i don't put like my keys my lotion my body sprays that just stays in my handbag and it's actually quite versatile for me because let's say if i want to go shopping after work or go to the grocery store or something like that i won't have to bring that huge bag i can just bring my regular purse and just leave my work bag in the car which is fine so that's what I'm gonna do. I need to pack my phone and then put on a bit of perfume and then I'm ready to go. I still don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear yet and we won't really find out because I don't put on shoes inside my house so I'll only know when I leave and I will not be taking the vlogging camera with me today. Perfume that I'm gonna use is this Replica perfume. This one is by The Fireplace. I really like it. It's giving like smoky, sexy type of smell and yeah so there i am with my two bags that's basically how i always go to work it is what it is it works for me i'll see you guys a little bit later not sure if i'll vlog or not today i almost forgot i did not even mention anything about zumba zumba was amazing i love zumba class it's a nice way to get into the gym it was great i had a sweat it was almost two hours of working out which was crazy we went over time so i feel really good today i feel like you know i can go to the office you know, feeling a bit light. I'm just showing you guys how I wash my hair and what I use. I'm using the Black Vanilla series from Carol's Daughter. I really do love using this to shampoo and condition my hair as well as I'm going to be using the Aveda Damage Remedy Conditioner which I think is really good to leave in your hair and just let it work its magic as a deep conditioner. I'm also going to be using this purple thing which I use to kind of massage and kind of get the products into my hair. good morning and happy saturday so sven and i are on our way out right now we're gonna go to the city i am going to a hair appointment i found this woman who does like hair links and i'm just gonna go for a consultation just to see what it means i don't want to rip out my hair i don't want to damage my hair um but i do want to you know try different styles i've never done anything to my hair except you know just do my everyday curls and whatever so i kind of want to try something new have different hair we shall see it's not set in stone i've done some research some people have really great reviews some people are just like they regret it because it ended up like pulling out their hair at the end of it so i'm just gonna go for a consultation and she is a black woman so i really keen to go see how her shop is maybe she does other stuff that you know maybe wash and set i don't know i'm excited to see what she can do that's basically what we're gonna do and then after that we're just gonna you know walk around the city and i'm gonna take my camera this time i'll keep you guys in the loop okay guys so funny enough 
I've left the vlogging camera in the car, but now we've just been taking some pictures in the city. I look so oily, I'm so sorry. Um, but we're gonna go scoot around. I have a um, tier scooter right now, so we're gonna take that scoot around and try to see if we can find some proper shooting locations by scooting around, making it, you know, fun. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna need my phone because I'm gonna need it to turn on the scooter. So I will see you guys sometime later. Sunday so um, I was just finishing up looking up some fonts for my videos as well as going through some of the comments and oh my god trolls are a real life thing but honestly it does not phase me these days and I know I'm gonna go into a whole other direction but if you're new to YouTube don't let these comments from people that are you know unknown their username is called unknown123 don't let them affect you. The fact that they're like, no picture, and then they come with these like, weirdo comments. Like, you can't even let it phase you because some of these people are just hiding behind a screen. And I'm just basically talking about, sorry there was a fly, talking about some of these videos that I've made in regards to Germany, and some people are just really out here going crazy. Like, someone just called, someone called me a bed wench. A bed wench? A bed wench? They like come to one video and then they just go crazy on their computers and it's just really actually appalling and disgusting but I'm actually not even phased by it because like I said these people are like hiding behind screens and they use this anonymous aspect of it to just say whatever disgusting things they can say and if that was one of your fear of starting a YouTube channel don't I just don't take it seriously these one of the ones that are just hiding and just doing troll comments it's just really crazy but they're always gonna be there. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update on the hair links. I think the last thing I told you guys yesterday was that I was going to a hair appointment to see if I want to get a little bead extension, whatever. I'm gonna ask your opinion here. What do you guys think? I really want to try out the, the long hair for now because my hair is still a bit too short to cut shorter and I feel like I want to just do something different and then I can always, you know, take it out in a few months. So it's not anything permanent but if you have experience with with the hair bonding please put it in the comment section below it's like one of these weird comments i've even had someone come on here and be like um so are you gonna like do any other hairstyle other than you know curl it or leave it straight and i'm like miss I didn't know I was- I had a hair channel. I didn't know my purpose on YouTube was to come on here and change my hair. Not saying that I'm getting these, you know, hair links to do that, to be this person's muse, basically, but again with the weird comments like i didn't know i was on here to change my hair every other day if i didn't have youtube my hair would be just like this or curled that's just how i roll every day anyways it's a rant type of sunday now i'm going to finish editing up this vlog and get it out hopefully today sunday based on these comments i'm going to use that to influence if i get this hair links or not um, you'll potentially see that in the next vlog so stay tuned for that if it happens i will try to vlog the experience so the owner of the shop she's amazing she is very very nice and i'll ask her if i can bring the camera along and she can like talk to you guys about it generally i think it's just a great way to put in extension 
emotions without, you know, seeing like, you know, weave tracks or anything like that because that was one of my big fears about, you know, ever getting a sew-in. Let's just see how this works. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday or a wonderful day, whatever day it is that you're watching this, and I will see you guys in another vlog.